All right, we're going to solve for the following sub-questions. Part A, find an equation that relates the central angle theta and radians to the height h. I'll write this out and I'll explain it. So the cosine theta divided by 2. Theta, theta divided by 2 because theta is this entire uh, reach across this. Well, it, it, it's from here to here. And we want half of that to relate this. So what it's going to be is theta divided by 2. Uh, 390, or excuse me, 39, 3060 over 3960 plus h. Uh, the three, uh, 3960 is the radius of the Earth, and then h, because that's that uh, 3960 is the hypotenuse plus, the hypotenuse is 3960 plus h, so that gives us our entire angle there, so that's why it's the way it is. So this is part A. Part B, um, find an equation that relates the observable distance d and theta. Um, all that's going to be is d is equal to 3,960 3, times theta. Part C, find an equation, let me write this up here, that relates uh, d and h. That's going to be cosine of d divided by um, 7,920 which is the diameter, um, is equal to 3960 over 3960 plus h. Now we're going to start utilizing these equations. Uh, part D wants us to know if we have, uh, if D is 20, to be 2,500 miles, uh, 2,500 miles that the observable distance, I should state, it's 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 this distance around here, pretty much where you can observe. That's to be 2,500 miles. Uh, um, how high does the satellite have to be, which is h? So what we're going to do here is we're going to use part c. So cosine of, and we had 2,500 miles over 7,920 is equal to 3,960 over 3960 plus h. Now what we're going to do here is I'm going to uh, figure out what the cosine of this angle is. I'll be right back. Alright, so what that does is that goes ahead, that, that gives us um, 0 0.9505927. Okay, well, just carrying those out there. Uh, 3960 over 3960 plus h. So I'm going to multiply the denominator on the right side, so I'm going to get uh, 0.951h plus, all right, so I wrote that all out, and I'm going to subtract this from here. And I'm going to get this through. We get h is equal to, get this divided by 0.951. Um, it's going to give me, where am I? Uh, it rounds, it's 205.7, but it just rounds up to 206 miles. So that's, um, that's this portion. Finally, we're going, to solve, we're going to solve part E. So I'm going to use, I'm going to start off with part A, I, yeah, part A, and then use part D. So we want, we have a height of 300 miles. So it's going to be cosine of theta divided by 2 is equal to 3960 over 3960 plus 300. Alright, so what ends up happening here is we get cosine theta divided by 2 is equal to um, 0 0.929 
nine five. All right, so then I'm gonna take, uh, so I get theta divided by two is equal to the inverse cosine of uh, that whole quantity, 0.93, I'll just round that. And I get, let's see here, um, theta divided by two is equal to zero, um, 0.378 radians. So I'm gonna multiply this by two uh, to get, so I get, Theta is equal to 0 0.755. And then what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to use uh, what we found in part D, which is, or part B, which is D is equal to 39, uh, 3,960 miles times theta, because this is our theta. So plug this in here, and we'll finally get our, our uh, distance. So D is equal to 3,960 times 0 0.755. Finally, our distance that we're going to get is uh, rounds down to uh, 2,990 miles. That's it. That's this entire problem solved.